Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And uh, I, I want to talk about trust. And um, uh, the reason is, I think a lot of people uh, put a lot into it. And um, you really have to understand trust is like anything else. It's got its limits. Uh, it's nice to say, oh, well, you know, you're my friend or you're my family and you can trust me for anything in the world. It'd be nice to say that. And, uh, but it does make you look a little foolish when you can't put up. And uh, when you can't put up, it makes other people think you, you, you can't be trusted. So you have to uh, be more realistic when you think of trust. And uh, it, it, it's funny because one of the things is on, on me when it comes to trust is uh, the money. Uh, you trust the bank with your money. And I only keep just a few hundred dollars in my account. And the reason is I don't trust the bank. And uh, the thing is, in the 80s, I saw some banks go broke. I mean, I saw it with my own eyes. And when they went back, oh, wait, you know, it's federally in, uh, insured. And, oh, well, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, that's another thing. Do you trust your government? Well, the first thing, yes, uh, your bank's trust is insured by the government. But when those banks went broke, it took years for the people to get their money back. And uh, so it's the ones that had like $50,000 in their account, stuff like that. It took them years to get their money back. And uh, so I learned from that, you can't trust banks with your money. And that's kind of why, uh, that's when I got one with the gold and the silver. That's, that's when I started focusing on gold and silver. Because uh, normally I have a hard time saving money anyway, because I, I gather, gather up the money and then next thing I know I, I spend it all. But with gold and silver, you buy a little bit at a time and it accumulates and, you know, it's a pain in the ass to sell it so you don't end up keeping it. And, uh, and then I say uh, I end up burying it uh, because, you know, water is not going to get it. It gets water, or, you know, time not going to bother it. So, uh, <clears throat> so that keeps the, my money uh, pretty much taken care of. And I don't need to trust anybody. It'd be nice to, you know, give it to some family members or friends and say, well, here, hold on to my money or to my gold and silver. But the thing is, you know, a tornado can hit the place. They could be robbed. There's a lot of things that could happen. So, and it's not their fault. So I'm putting my trust into someone that, they're going to do their best, but still there, there's limitations on what they can do. So uh, when it comes to, you know, like I say, the money, the gold and silver. So, and then there, it's the same thing. You uh, trust people uh, for their word. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be behind you no matter what. I'll be behind you. And then it finds out, you know, you got, uh, you know, SWAT team coming after you, you know, or something like that, you know, um, man, you know, you really want them to get involved, you know what I mean? So, uh, now, if you've done something bad, now, if you, and that's why I talk about morals, and uh, because if I trust someone, you're my friend, and we morally trust each other, and you haven't done nothing wrong, and then when something happens, uh, like let's say a street gang or something comes after you, because that's what's happened to me, so I'm, you know I share what's happened. So uh, uh, it's nice that I can know I can call someone, and they will stand with me. I mean, we're talking guns. I'm talking about killing people. You know what I mean? So but a lot of people say, well, yeah, they'll do that. But when it gets down to the, the brass knuckles and blood's going to be shed, they won't. 
that's another reason why I push the three-man militia. You're building a relationship. The relationship is where the trust comes from. And you, you, uh, you're more pacific on what you can trust. You know, you can trust me pacifically on this particular thing. I can trust you pacifically on that particular thing. And because you just can't just throw out trust and uh, expect people to be able to do all this. It's not that easy. It's easy to say it, but it's not that easy. Or I, I like the one where uh, uh, the bad guys, you know, or they can, you know, they, these guys, they can trust each other. Don't rat on anybody, you know, so you're going to go to jail for somebody else. You know, wow, you can trust this guy to go to jail for you. You know, that sounds more like stupidity uh, than trust. Uh, blind, blind trust. Uh, now, this is where we get government uh, bureaucrats. We get uh, police. They blindly trust the government uh, for their security. That's why they're going to do things to other people because they trust the government to give them the security that they're going to need. Well, they're going to need that security because nobody likes them. Nobody trusts them. They didn't put their trust in people. They put their trust in an identity. And that's where people trusting in identity, that's where the banks come from. There's no person there you trust. It's the banking system. I make my money in stock. Oh, that's even better yet. That's an identity also. It's, it's, nobody is in the stock. There's not a person involved in this. You don't have a relationship. These are companies. Companies don't have relationships. Small businesses, you can build a relationship. Big companies, they don't have it. But how many people do you know of work for big businesses and they think they have a relationship with this big business? This big business will take care of me when I get old, when I get sick, and if I have legal manners and stuff like that, you know. Uh, isn't it kind of odd where people will put their faith, their trust into an identity. It's not even a real person. Nobody, I mean, this identity can shit on you and you can't, you, you can't even look at them and say, man, you know, you don't have any balls. You don't have any, you don't even have any character. You don't have none of that. No shit they don't. They're an identity. They don't have nothing. And what you do is you've got your faith on uh, greed. And what's greed? Same thing. It's an identity. It's nothing. There's nothing there. Uh, people get misguided with their trust all the time. Uh, I'll tell you, I pay my debts. I'm real proud of it. I'm from. I'm kind of old-fashioned. Uh, you can trust my word. You can trust my my debt. You can trust all that stuff. But the funny thing is wasn't always like that. It was like that to me, but things got out of my control and I wasn't able to, to do what I wanted to do. An example was when I was in the oil business. See, uh, it used to be, now this is back in the 80s, it used to be Chinese, you could get a loan from any bank just by being Chinese because the Chinese and our culture, we always pay our debts. And back in the 80s and before, man, I always paid my debts. I was in the oil business. I had tons of money. Of course I could pay my debts until the government came in and did a windfall profit tax. They taxed me because I made too much money. Now, what happened, before they came in and took my money, I committed to other people. Yeah, you can trust me. I, I, I you know... Uh, you know, yeah, I'll pay you next month or, you know, next week or whatever, you know. And I mean, I always paid my debts. I always did. And so it got to the point where people would, you know, like I say, whatever the thing was, they they trust me. And it was a good place to put their trust is in me. The problem was when the government came in, did the windfall profit tax, I lost everything. 
Now, I didn't go broke. I didn't quite get all of my bills paid off, but I paid a lot of my bills off. And, uh, and it, a lot of it took me years and years to get all this stuff paid for. And the ones that I did get paid for, it still eats me that I didn't get them paid for. And uh, so, uh, in other words, that was out of my control. I mean, I had tons of money, and the next thing I know, I didn't have any money. It was something, so, and that's what happens to people. They will commit to things, and sometimes there's things out of their control, and they can't follow through with their trust. You know, and that's why you don't want to get people to uh, put out, you don't want to put all your trust in somebody because there's going to be things that could happen beyond their control and uh, they won't be able to produce. So you try to put that trust in least amount of people as you can. And there's going to be some trust that you can put in with friendships and relationships and even family. But sometimes even that can only go so far and it goes beyond what you're, what you're capable of doing. I know that's been one of the hard things for me is once the, uh, you trust your family, but as the family grows in, in age and they get married and they do their things, uh, you can only trust them so much in which when you were, they were younger, you were able to trust them more. And uh, so it's, and you just have to face the realities is you can't, you just can't get that trust like we think we have. Remember, that's not always possible. But just something to think on. This is Mike, no stress Mike, dot com.